So Madison, Wisconsin's fire department, Fire Station 8, just got what they say is the first electric fire truck in North America. Fire Station 8 is on Madison's east side, and they now have an all-electric Pierce Volterra pumper truck. Now, Pierce, by the way, is uh, headquartered in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, so this kind of makes sense, right? Um, and they are a subsidiary of Oshkosh Corp., which, if you remember, is that company that got the United States Postal Service contract for the new electric fleet, but it turns out the fleet won't be electric. Now, I do want to point out that this 155-kilowatt-hour battery pack truck also has a parallel diesel powertrain. So, weird, right? Yeah, like I know why Pierce did this. It's to assuage the fire departments. To assuage them? Yeah, you know the word assuage, right? You learned that in English class. I did, I did. Yeah, no, I'm sure that the big concern of many fire chiefs is that they'll buy a newfangled electric fire truck and it'll conk out on them on the way to the house fire. And so with a parallel diesel powertrain, they feel like, well, I know that that big stinky engine will still work. But just think of all the added expense and maintenance and weight that they have to drag around. Yeah, I mean, that... I don't know. I was super excited about it being an all-electric fire truck until I heard that it has this parallel diesel powertrain. It just makes you feel like, I don't know, like it just feels like now it's a hybrid. It is a hybrid and it does. It's disappointing. But, you know, for a while, plug-in hybrids were big and everyone was like, everyone's going to have a plug-in hybrid because who knows about electricity? We don't know anything. So who knows? It may not last. It may not. You <laughs> might not have electricity. <laughs> but you'll definitely have some weird <laughs> juice that we pulled out of the ground and did some stuff to. OK, this is fine, in my opinion. Here's what's going to happen is my thought. They're going to drive this truck around for quite some time. They're going to go, wow, uh, we never need to use the diesel. Or they're going to go, oh, we forgot to plug it in. So we only run it off the diesel, <laughs> which I could also see happening. But I think that if you spent this much money on a fire apparatus, that you are going to want to use it the way that it is intended. And I have full faith in the fire department to uh, run it on electric most of the time. Here's my thought. Going forward, they're going to say, yeah, we don't need the diesel engine in it. We could buy a fully electric. One. Right. I mean, this Volterra fire truck was placed into service a few weeks ago and has already responded to over 200 calls. Now, Madison has the goal of reaching 100 percent renewable energy and net zero emissions by 2030. This is their 61st electric vehicle. So good for you, Madison. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.